What's up guys, Arsblader8 back here for another video and my mom just recently came back from the Philippines and I asked her if she could pick me up some Beyblades because Philippines sell Takara Tomei products and this is what she got me. She got me a bag full of Philippines from the store. So we're just going to take this all out. And by the title you can already tell what we're unboxing. Christ, Satan. And... I don't have the, I can't get the Hasbro version, it's, um, you can only get it in the set, and I got two, not one, but two LR launchers, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna give one away, because, you know, I just have one for, just in case, for replacement, if the, if one breaks, because I heard they can break pretty easily, and here we go, but this is something I'm thinking of giving away, or I might give away in my um, Beyblade Club in my high school, Wild Wyvern VO, uh, Vertical Orbit, should I give it away, type in the comments if I should give away, I actually give away a Wild Wyvern, and, um, you know, I give away the Hasbro version, so, if you guys really want it, you know, type below in the comments if you guys really want it, and I'll think about if, um, I should give it away because I really have no use for it because I already have it. But enough of that. Let's get on to the unboxing video. I have Christ Satan. So in uh in pesos, uh, I, I guess she paid in um American currency. So it's ten fifty in the Philippines. Um, for you guys in the Philippines, I guess you guys can calculate how much pesos that is, but a lot cheaper if I were to buy it from, um, what do you call it, online, and it is from Takara Tomy, not a fake, a defense type, here the sides, it uses the rollers, that's its, um, god gimmick, and here we go. Um, those are the stats, I believe. And, here we go. Better back of the box. So it comes with a proto launcher. So, um, this is actually gonna be my first proto launcher. Also, if you guys live in the Philippines, I think you guys know what this is. Cream stick, if you guys don't know what it is, it's basically vanilla. Um, I'm sorry this is off topic, but I'm, I'm actually just eating this right now. It's like a vanilla paste. You guys are missing now if you guys are not eating this. And, yeah. Um, that's why I'm eating cream sticks. Go get those if you're in the Philippines right now. Um, oh, I'm looking for my scissors. Here we go. Got it. So, we're just going to unbox this. Oh. Okay guys, I finally got my first um, cardboard insert you can put in your bay logger, and I don't have a bay logger to showcase that, I wish I had one, Cry Satan, pretty cool, that's actually my first um, cardboard cutout, and I'm just going to go through this, here we go, here is the ripcord, and I'm just going to fast forward everything guys, so it's a lot faster for you guys.
Okay guys, we finally have everything here. Um, I am actually missing one more. Oh, the driver was right over there. So, okay, so here we go. We got the Proto Launcher. And I guess you put it in like this. It is very short. It's very small than, it's uh, It's a lot smaller than I expected. Um, I didn't think it'd be this small, but it's actually really small. So this is Beyblade right there. Got a really short ripcord. I think this is the shortest ripcord I've seen. I think even Hasbro has a better start launcher than this, guys. Like, this is just, come on. This is just kind of pathetic. <laughs> Like why why did he need to do this? But the good thing is it is free spinning. Taking the page out of Hasra's book right there. And here we go, we got the stickers, which I'm gonna have a very hard time of doing. Um not a lot of stickers, that is a good thing. Okay. Here we go. Cycle. Oh, no, it's not cycle. I'm so sad. Um loop. Loop is what this is. It's translucent. Um, focus on that. Okay, I guess it's already focused. So that is just a symbol for loop. Really, it's really gimmicky. You know, it would have been nice if this part was um, free spinning, but I guess these are free spinning to help it balance stamina, whatever. Um, we're gonna take this apart. Um, come on. Wow, it's very tight, guys. I'm gonna have to take this off camera. Okay. Yeah, Takara Tomo stuff make their stuff very, very sturdy. So, this is two. Pretty basic. And we got a purple glaive, which looks really nice. I like the look of this purple glaive. Alright, let's put that back together. This is actually my first um, God Bay, guys. Takar this is my first Takara Tomy God Bay. Um, all of the other ones I've had were Hasbro. And here is Christ Satan. Looks very nice without the stickers. But I always put stickers on. So, side by side. Just looks really nice. No, I've heard it's it's not it's not the best um God Bay, but um it has pretty good um teeth I've heard. So no QR code guys, I'm sorry. It is a guitar to Takara Tomy product. So here we go. Gonna check the teeth. Wow, those teeth are tight. How much teeth did it it has four teeth. Yeah, those are pretty tall teeth. Okay. Oh man. So yeah, pretty good teeth on Christ Satan. And now we I'm gonna put on the stickers right now. Alright guys, I am finally done with the stickers. These stickers took me forever. There was so few stickers, I was so confident it wouldn't take that long for me, but it was actually a um, printing error, like one of the stickers actually didn't line up. I'm trying to find it, I think it was this one. Like this one? No, it's not this one. I can't really tell anymore. Yeah, this one. This one had a printing error. Like, um, every time I try to fit it in the right spot, it would just push the sticker outwards, which you don't want. So, that just stayed like that. So, yeah, um, I got the stickers on. I even got the driver sticker on. Like, it matters, but it's, it's just cool to have. So, now we are going to get to a test spin. Alright, I'll be using the Pro Launcher in this test. 3, 2, 1, let's rip it. And that felt very weak. <laughs> um, Pro Launcher is probably not your best option. So I'm just going to switch to String Launcher, of course. And let's see how that does. 
Alright, three to it. So now a lot stronger. And that's pretty much the test bin. Now we're going to test Christ Satan against two bays, Genesis Valtriac and Surge Excalius. They are both in their stock combo form. And we'll be testing it against Genesis Valtriac first. So through two and that and that Wow, a lot of and Genesis Valtriac gets bursted. Wow, burst finish for Sat uh, and I almost said Satum. <laughs> Christ Satan. And it got one, two clicks. And we'll try that again. So keep in mind my um, Genesis Round Trick has um, looser slopes ever since I fixed it. Three, two, one, that. And three, two, one, that. Genesis Valtria gets the win that time, guys. They didn't even need to go and reboot. And, um, there you go, there's the reboot. Alright, versus Surge Excalibur. Oh, wow, big hits from Surge Excalibur. And it got a first finish. That was a crazy round. Um, Chrysidon is doing okay. It can take a lot of hits for sure, but I don't know. Maybe not the best defensive bay. There's one There we go again. Oh, oh man. Man, these attack types are just kind of too much for Chrysidon. But you know what? It only bursted twice. Out of four matches, a 50% burst, and it only got got like two clicks there. So I don't know, Chrysler. It's it's a round uh, defensive type. I don't think it should be losing that much though. But you know, those are very heavy attack types. I put it against, but you know, it's a really nice bay. Would I recommend getting it? You know, it's it's up to your option. I heard some people don't like this bay because it's you know not the best defensive bay, but Looks wise, it's very, very aesthetic. So, you know, if you like the look of the bay, I would definitely pick it up. De definitely, if you like the color black, it's almost like an all black bay, except the glaive is not black. But yeah, um, so leave in the comments what you think of this bay below. And this is Artist Waiter 8 out, and peace.